beautiful. We are at the Duomo now. It's very intricate. Last night's show was very nice. It's very nice. My favorite panic show, I guess all of them, although I do have one stands out in my mind, Savannah Springs. It was an outside show, 94. I'm over here traveling by myself and I'm happy because I've just run into nothing but very good people and I'm at a point in my life where it's really good to be happy and feel happy and so but what other better way to do that and share that with some kids on panic tour because a lot of people are happy. And I've been um, really enjoying Germany. Started off in London, went to Amsterdam. My favorite show so far has been the Berlin show. I thought it was a bit naughty. How many shows have you been to now? A lot. I've been seeing them for, uh, since 92, I, I think I saw my first show. And they came to my university. That, that, I saw them in the summer, then they came to my school in that fall. And that's all she wrote after that. I just had to see more. <laughs> Uh, inside the shows, everyone it's like a mesh of just meshing. Everyone just starts dancing and you can feed off of everybody else and they feed off of you. And one of the best things is to hold someone's hands during a show and feel the music and I mean the band is just tight. It's, they've got it together and uh, the sound of Michael Hauser's guitar, this kind of strange thing is to my body. <laughs> and the bass, Dave's always just boom keeping me going. And Sonny's keeping me going and Todd's keeping me going and JB just makes my heart filled with laughter. Especially when he starts going ad living and being crazy and telling us a little story. Tell me about uh, and Jojo. Yeah, can you describe what fanny and fanny is? Um you know I don't think I've met too many fanny fans that they're just happy, free people. The free people and they like to get down and they like to travel obviously. I like to meet other people, and I think that's what traveling's about, and seeing and experiencing new things. There's no fear, and uh, that's kind of what I'm here for, is to eliminate the fear, and there's, you know, you, there's a lot of openness and freedom on tour, and uh, that's what's nice about it. It was raining when we left to go to a tiny town called Beofield. Only problem was we got rerouted to another town. Tell me about it? Yes, I'll tell you about it. We were <laughs> stuck in, what town is this? This is Bad Bethany, no, Bethany. Uh, and the reason that we are delayed for the show, the show yeah. starts in one hour and we are about there half an hour away. There was a bomb square. Panic in ham. It's kind of panicky. Yes. Ham. Yes. Anybody else want to add anything to that one? We're hoping to make it to the show. We're hoping to make it to the show on time. It all is good. We'll be boogieing in backpacks. Mm -hmm. We'll be fine. Yep. We, we, we will be, be fine. fine. Us. Where are we? Night five, we're in Beulah Field. Oh, yeah, Night. we are. Yeah. What are we going to hear tonight? Mm. That's a tough one. We're Red Hot Mama. Yeah. What about uh, last night? What'd you hear? Uh, Surprise Valley, which is the, the king of all kinds of songs. Yeah. Anything special happened last night? Mm, always something special happens at a show. Meet mm. someone new. I really liked it because I think there's. It's been nice to have a, have a group of individuals, whereas like people can travel by themselves. I don't feel bad breaking off from kids, but like, you know, whatever. You see people for 30 minutes and you walk away. It's kind of what like traveling, the whole experience that like Panic's trying to encourage. You know, going to see things and like learning how to understand other people that you have no clue about, but kind of you can, you can get the feeling off them. So, I don't know. I have like the fact that people have been pretty accepting of spending time together and, and, and doing things together and also kind of breaking away. I've had like, I've had two beautiful days by myself since we've been here. Um, Berlin, just cruise the whole day, you know, in the, in, in the sea of faces and sea of people and just kind of disappear into that. When you're on tour, is, it's a lot different here because when, normally when you're in the States, I mean, you got those three other scummy, dirty kids in your car and you are stuck with them and you know their odor better than anything else. So, so when they stick it to you, they're going to stick it to you for a couple weeks straight and there's no way you can get away from it. So it really, it's been nice to 
to be over here. I don't know, about, about the crowds inside the shows, uh, seems like every night except for that Berlin show and it just seemed like everyone was just a little too high to remember what they were supposed to do. Um, everyone has been really intense and just, everyone's been dancing so hard. Had a bunch of loops, like five kids that were just spinning around in the middle. Especially, I think it was in Hanover, the whole knocking around the zoo crowd. And actually, Hanover, I would, I would like to address that crowd issue for a second because I've never seen such, a, such lines at a panic show. Because you had, there was the German crowd, and then the panic kids that are traveling, and then the, the UGA frat kids scene. And, and, and the line in between was so distinct, but you know, but people were so different, but still everyone was getting down really hard. And I don't know, I really have, I've enjoyed watching the Germans dance and, and get down because they focus and they pay really close attention to the music. They don't, you know, they're not being dumb, or, and they're not getting drunk and being stupid. They're, they're there to get their time's worth, to get the, the effort out of the band's worth, and get their money's worth, so I don't know. I really, I think Germany has been an excellent choice for, for a place to be. Do you think so far of widespread? Did you know him before? Pretty, what? Came here? Did you know widespread before you came? Uh, you last show? year in Hamburg. Yeah? And in Schiesel, of, of the festival in Germany. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, they're very good. Äh, alles gut und klar, ihr seid die beste Gruppe. Hurra! <lacht> ich, ich hau mal wieder ab, ne? Uh, see you later. My name is Mackie Foster. I'm from Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, I guess I first saw the Panic. I was still in high school. Um, I saw them up at the University of Georgia. I was going up there to see a friend of mine's brother. We were still just in high school. And they were playing at the Sigma New House, frat house up there and uh, had no idea what I was getting myself into. And I was just like, man, these guys are playing nothing but dead in traffic, you know, who are these guys? Uh, they played in my hometown in 1989 at the Armory, and that was fucking insane. Um, I mean, it was Sleepy Monkey, uh, Impossible. I mean, I, when I look back at that set list, I think the second set was like 13 or 14 songs. Yeah, and uh, that was, I guess that's what attracted me initially. Um, I didn't really, I, I went to shows with a, with a group of my own friends for a while, and it wasn't until uh, I got out of college that I really started meeting a lot more people. And uh, I've got friends all over this country now, man. I've got, you know, I know people uh, just about every state in this union, and it's the only time I get to see them. Um, that's pretty much, why I'm here, because this is like the first time in probably 10 years I'll, I'll see venues this small, I mean, uh, from the you know, 40 watt days when I was getting by with a fake ID uh, to this, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm stunned, I, I really am, I really, it's just been such a remarkable experience for me, uh, I really don't know if they can top it, but damn sure how they try. You know, we were trying, you know, let's see, I've been seeing them for 10 years at least. Eight, I saw them in 87, 99, 12 years. So you figure, I mean, I, I know it's more than 175. I don't think it's quite 200 yet, but it won't be long. But, uh, I mean, I've been, I've been averaging them. I've never seen less than 10 shows in one year, and I've seen up to 30. 35 in one year, so I'm just not really good at keeping on of those stubs, man. You know, it's hard for me to tell. You know, I can go through, I mean, I can go through the everyday and like, you know, that's what's really weird is looking back through that and going, oh my God, you know, like, they play that. Shit, they play that? Really? You know, uh, so yeah, that, that's one of the ways I tried to research how many I went to. But then there were, I mean, I saw them for a can of green beans and a food drive. You know, they played at Emory with a Po Folks buffet. You know, I mean, so it's, uh, I don't know. Man. Uh, but just, I mean, I remember when they played, the first time they played the Fox, you had to, had to slap a smile off their faces. You know, they're like, like they couldn't believe they were playing that thing. And, uh, you know, when that happened, you knew it wasn't going to be the same. You knew it was going to get bigger. But uh, 
it has gotten better. You know, I think some kids were worried for a while, but uh, man, it's just it's where it's at. We went to the venue, which from what I understand was an old medieval castle. Um, it had a dungeon, which is where the bathrooms were. Um, you walked in on the main floor. It was two stories tall. Of course, you know, being panic fans, you have to read into everything. So, of course, we thought we would get it. And they did treat us with astronomy, astronomy domini, which was fun. Astronomy, uh, a pink floor cover. They hadn't played since, uh, since Missoula, Montana, I think, in 1995. Best show adventure since 1995. <laughs> Hey, Doug, do you have my camera? Okay, now actually, smallest show I've been to since '95. First time I've ever stood up front. Ever. That's the first time I've ever stood right up front. Um, this will make like 35 or 36. Most of them this year. <laughs> Speechless. Yeah. Absolutely speechless. Look at this venue, man. Pan, pan around here. Pan up. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, Michael Cox. I, uh, I live in Tuscaloosa. I got a research grant, I'm a structural geologist, research grant from the University of Alabama for mobile oil. And I uh, pretty much spent it to come over here to Europe. And uh, I'm here now, I saw uh, Panic in 1989 for the first time at the Nick, uh, right underneath the highway in Birmingham, Alabama. Seen them off and on ever since. And uh, I guess about a year ago when I started trading CDRs, this was, it just, the whole crowd, the whole scene is just, it's just overwhelming. Decided to come and start seeing as many shows as I can. And Europe is just unbelievable. I mean, this this is the shit. This is the panic that I remember from the old days, back when uh, they were playing the Tusk and all the small venues. Just unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm Jens. I'm from, from Hamburg, here in Germany. And I, I first got into panic through a filler on, on a fish tape. That 93 anchor with paint and tray, and they, I just heard that piece early in the morning. They kept playing for five minutes, and then that voice came in, and that was it. <laughs> and I first seen them here in '98 in Hamburg at the logo, and um, bought some CDs. And when I heard they are coming back this year, I had to. I decided I had to see <laughs> most of the tour. So I'm here since Amsterdam. Um, so far I've, I've met so many great people. <laughs> I knew uh, Tie Your Shoes, and I asked Mike Hauser to play that in Hamburg. And they did it in Hanover. And I was in heaven at that show. <laughs> I, uh, I love how people cl close to the front of the stage are grinning at each other and beaming and encouraging each other. It's been great. I've been floating in music. <laughs> Man, love, hello, how you doing? This show was the best one. I don't know, it was just awesome. Awesome, awesome. Blew my mind. Like, you know the 20 minute nobody's fault but mine? I've never heard anything like that.